Okay, so part three, uh, we last video we made a portal sample, and now what we're gonna do is, uh, and we submitted a ticket. So on this computer, you'll have the Spicedrug server, which will be running on the main computer that you install. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go to help desk and click on tickets. Once you click on ticket and then you'll see whatever ticket our uh, users have submitted a problem, you'll see it right here. And then you can accept it right here. So I'll just accept this one, the one we made, I need help. And I'll click on accept. Okay, so once you click on accept, it will assign the ticket and at the bottom right here you can response say I got the ticket. And then you can just update the ticket. And now the user can log in, uh, same username, uh, his, his email, and then you'll, he'll see this response from the admin or you, anyone that is uh, uh, having controlling this system. So I got the ticket, he'll get this answer. And here you can see all that stuff. You can read about this later, but this is how you're going to be in, um, you and a user will be talking to each other through the ticketing system so now we're going to go to the next step okay so in the next step over here will be this is your portal now and you are the designer and then you there's no uh, way to add a file system I mean you can read information but there, and users can really send a file or download file from a computer that you want from the computer that you want them to be installing or uploading anything so let's say I want a solution that I want to add I don't want another I don't want to make another server or another computer that will be using another name and they will type a, a sample to to get into these files I just want them to just go to sample slash portal and that's it I want them these I want the I want these files to be right here in this portal so that both are related uh, all we're gonna do is you can do it whatever you want to I'll keep this front page just for the information and everything and I'll create a new page now and I'll name it uh, company file company file okay so then I'll just create it and now here is the box and on the right side you'll see this add content you just click on it and then click on I would say welcome because uh, or I'll say new content block sorry so we created a new content and now we can name it right here files and then here you can and then what we will do we will install another software that we were talking about is it's going to be our file server and then we are going to combine these two so they will see a file server in here they're not going to go to another computer or another oh, page or another IP address anything like that so we will do, leave this open right here and we'll open a new page and go to Google So once you type Google, you'll type HFS and then click enter. Once you click on HFS, you'll click on this link right here, HFS HTTP file server, it's R-E-G-E-T-T-O. So you click on this link. Okay, once you click on this link, you will click on download right here. And then download it. Show all download. And it says just the same question. Just say okay. And then it and it's so small that once you click on okay, it will download itself right away. I'll just do it show in a folder and then I'll create a shortcut on a desktop alright so 
I'll double click on HFS. So once you click on double double click on HFS, I'll just say run and then you will see HFS and say yes over here. And now your so spy source was running with on port 8080 80, on 80 and this one is gonna be running on 8080. 80. So this is gonna be from one computer. You're not you don't need another computer to combine this these two. Click on here, click to switch uh, to an export mode. So it's going to change the export mode over here and then go to menu. And then you can see all this stuff right here, limits and all that stuff, cool stuff that is for free. So what we're going to be doing is our main purpose is to make an, a file, a folder that company users can access. So we'll right click here and then add folder from the disk. So now this is the folder that you made for a company and you want all the information in here, you want different departments. So what we're going to do is uh, just, we will just add a documents in here. And this is, you can make any, anything over there. So it's going to ask you a question here, real folder, virtual folder, I'll click on real folder. So now these are documents. Now you can click on the web, open in a web browser, you can check it how it's going to look. And once you click on it, it will open up the web browser and they will see something like this. You can go back and they'll see something like this, my document and anything in that uh, in that folder or my document, you will see it right here. So th they can download it or they can upload it. And I'll tell you how to give them access to upload and download or take out the access. Okay, so now we minimize this and we are right here now this is my document and I want I want to set up a username and a password first so that is restricted I'll just right click on it and go to set user and password so my username is sample and password will be anything I'll just give it anything right now or you have if you have different users you can make a it's not going to be a good thing for a lot of users, but if you have 10 or 15 users, you can make the password. I mean, for a company, you can make a company password, not something outside. So just simple, and then the password was done, and then the password you entered didn't match. Ooh, okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so now you can see this lock right here. It's uh, only access for these people right here and then I'll right click on it and then say upload new account I can make the same account or I make, can say anyone can upload to this file once they once they have access so I'll just say anyone okay now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy this link and then go back to my same right here and what you're gonna do is right here what we're gonna do we will say these are company files and I'll just say publish okay and then I'm gonna add a content here again and then I'll do iframe click on iframe and then close it and then go back to edit and then pass your link over here okay the height I'll say 400 and then save it all right you can see that I have made the the file the the, the this file server is inside Spikesverse now you can you can share folder from one site. All your company members need to know only this link right here. They need to know what is this sample slash portal. Once they click on it, it will give them access to your portal. Okay. Once they click on it, they will see something like this, and then the end user view they will see something like this. So they will be no they they can edit stuff or anything like that or delete anything. 
So then you can they can see this, they'll see the information and then complete file. Once they click on it, they'll go to this page, the one that you created to be able to get them to uh, to access your information uh, on your computer. They can just click on this. So I made it a uh, password protected. So the username was sample and the password was this and then login. So now they can log into the system and they can upload anything here or anywhere let's say for example my picture there's nothing right now so let's upload anything you can click on upload choose file and sample picture and this right here and then just simply upload it upload files okay and now you see that water ladies is uploaded so let me make another video because I'm running out of time